بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم ألهمنا مراشد أمورنا وأعذنا من شرور أنفسنا Every surah of the Qur'an al-Kareem is a mustaqil bayan. It is this surah of the Qur'an that has changed the hearts, the minds. It is a few verses of the surah which fell in the eyes of Umar radiallahu an. And he had just gone to murder. He wanted to kill the best of creation. He had just slapped his sister for only one problem, that why she believed in Allah. And then when that ayah came in front of him, his whole life changed. Quran has created revolutions because it's a book of revolution. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he came to Medina Munawwara, they write in the books of Tafsir that the people of Medina at that time, it was known as Yathrib. And Yathrib never have a very good name. Yathrib, the meaning is not like something so good. The air was not so good. The people were, there was fights carrying on between them for years. So fighting, hatred, these were things that were natural in those people. When Allah's Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came, the wording that comes in the books of Tafsir is, Abkhasun nasi kailan. That with regards to measure, what we call business, with regards to cheating, they were the masters. They were the worst people with regards to fulfilling the demands of what is called honesty. One honest man enters Medina Munawar. First surah that comes down in Medina Munawara is the surah. Waylul lil mutaffifin. Destruction to the people who cheat. Look at what a revolution Quran did. In the books of Tafsir they write the surah came down to a party, to a people who were the worst in business. Who cheated wherever they could cheat. It changed the entire Medina Munawara. And he says, until today, this was written long time ago, but if you ask anyone, he will say, until today, you will find them the most honest in business. You will go to the jewelry shop, and that woman, if that man says it's so many grams, you don't have to go and say, I'll check up next door. He is not going to be cheating. Why he is not going to be cheating? The surah created revolution. It changed people whose nature was, I just need that extra. In their era, it was the scale. Tatfif means that you play with the scale. One is there, the scale for gold and silver, what we call grams, kilograms, weight. But everything else was sold on what was called a measure. So you have the saw. The saw was a certain, like a vessel, you fill up the vessel. And this is one saw. So what the businessman would do, he would have two saws in his shop. One was that saw of his, one container of his. Whenever he had to collect, then he would tell them, fill up 20 of this. So he would come 20. But whenever he was giving, he would use the other one. Which was slightly going to be smaller than the first one, but no one will pick it up. But in that small amount which you normally tell you cheating so little, what are you going to get out of it? But when man's nature is, that that little that I can steal is a big thing. That was tatfif. It wasn't a very big amount they were stealing. But how? Allah tabarakullah with the surah and the world showed, when man starts stealing, there's no limits to where he can end up. Then to take millions and billions, whether he's a Muslim or a non-Muslim, whether he is a man of the first saf also. Whether he is a man of tahajjud also. But something inside him will say that it's my right. And where a man goes upwards towards purity and honesty. In recent times the great sheikh of Istanbul, Sheikh Mahmoud Afandi passed away. Regarding his mother, it is written that when she would take the cows for grazing, she would put a cloth over the mouth of the cows. Other people would find it very funny. She would say, it hurts me when the cow eats somebody else's grass. That the land of the cow is that side, that's our field. But sometimes these cows, they just bite. 
Who would ever worry of grass? There's no limits to how high you can go in honesty. And there's no limits to how far you can go in dishonesty. Waylul lil mutaffifin created revolutions. Such revolutions that if a certain mistake took place in business, people were ready to give away everything. Because they would say, I don't know where that profit went. If a certain thing was sold and the person, customer wasn't told there's defect in it. And then the boss later on came and said, you never mentioned, he said, the person was happy with the item. He would say, go and find that person. Now you can't find the person. And he would just remain sad. You would think like someone passed away in the house. But for that individual who was cheating today took place in my business. So why? Abu Huraira radiallahu an, after accepting Islam, when he reached, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was gone on the battle. So he says, I entered the masjid and it was Fajr Salah. Most likely it was the second rakat where the imam was reading, Waylul lil mutaffifin. See how Quran was a bayan. It's supposed to be a bayan for all of us. No need for a man to give a bayan and say, let's not cheat anymore. One surah. He said, I heard the imam say, Waylun, destruction for the one who cheats. He said, immediately my mind went to, said, hey, in our village this is very common. He said, that one person there, I have to tell him about it. Is he going to go into this wail, this destruction? Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu anhu, they would ask him, what is this destruction? He said, forget the destruction here. There's going to be major destruction there. Here also it's all going to go. They also. Wailun lil mutaffifin. Total destruction are for those that when they weigh and they measure, then they just cut corners. This was not calling, stealing millions and billions. Here you would say, I stole two riyals extra. I put the meat on the scale and I just played a little bit with the scale. So the scale starts a little bit over five. So that i selling petrol. If I had to just play with the buttons, yeah, I'm not giving you ideas what to do if you've got a petrol station. Saying, don't do it. You played with the thing. So when that first nothing comes in, no car is going to pick up, nothing has come. So you just play with it, that that first comes empty air, and already you're being charged. That man might only make about 50 rand, 40 rand, 30 rand. And he knows hardly any car can ever pick up exact amount of liters that are there came in my car. That amount is so small. But in that small amount, one day you do make millions. But that amount which was called, you're playing a little. So you might make millions, Allah Tabarakullah said, on top of your millions is destruction. We will collapse that entire empire. If anyone saw how once upon a time they spoke about the World Trade Center, it was a lie. They blew it from inside. And if you ever had seen that picture, you see a building so high, and when it comes down, every floor had so many people, so many businesses, so much wealth. When the whole thing collapses, that was an idea when Allah wants to collapse an empire. Sometimes that empire could be mine and your empire. If the foundation is on cheating, a day comes where you see the whole thing. Stage after stage after stage. One problem starts. And the problem just hits another problem. Just hits another problem. And you just open your eyes and you see that whole thing came to the ground. And you said, what happened here? And the answer was, وَيْلٌ لِلْمُطَفِّفِينَ Total destruction will come when you're playing with the scales. That is the scales on money and business. And then there is the scales of what is called justice. Allah Tabarukullah said, what is this mutaffif? Alladheena idha ktaalu ala nasi When they are measuring to buy, so they go and say, I want to take 20 sa. So the man says, no problem, I'll charge you so much. So he says, bring my sa from the car, from the van. And now he starts and he makes sure each one is full. He's taking his full amount, nothing wrong with that. You must take your full. وَإِذَا كَالُوهُمْ أَوْ وَزَنُوهُمْ But when now he has to give, when he has to now give, 
يخسرون. And he says, don't give that one. To take, you get fuller. There are sometimes some families write that my husband, when he speaks to the wife, it's like Junaid Baghdadi speaking. How high he is, what she must do, what she's doing wrong, why she mustn't do this. And he says, and when he starts his own life, it's like the devil talking. So what he was doing right was 100% right. There are sometimes when a person is caught in drugs, he's in the drug world, Allah save us all. That individual when the Thursday, Friday, Saturday night comes, whichever woman on the street he finds is his. But when Monday he becomes sober, that same individual will hear him telling his daughter or his niece that make sure when you go out you wear parda. Now that girl is looking at him. That you talking about parda? What about the last four days? So they also say that at that time that his bayan is very good. He shouts me and he says, "I'll slap you. You go without niqab." So there was nothing wrong with that. But Allah Taala is saying, "How is this? When it comes to the other party, you became the pious of the time. And when you came to your private life, then you got your own story." And this happens on a very big scale. It is difficult to un- explain this thing, but I'll give you one more indication. That in the world, sometimes certain people make mistakes, errors. And immediately a person is ready to jump on that mistake. And he says, how could you do this here? How could he do this? Here? Look what he did. So that bayan was very good. How could he do this? And when that individual walks in his own house, then he got another story. So he's being told, when it came to one side, you are on the highest levels, like full. Everyone must be perfect. And when it came to your own private, then you were the lowest of the low. That double standard, forget others, I must not have it, we must not have it. Whenever we hear of a mistake of anyone, We must not jump on the throat of the individual. My first must be, I must shiver. And I must say, Allah, do not ever disgrace me, please. What about me? Because I know my story. I know my story. That my building is also like a 911. It just needs one aeroplane to hit. And it's the end. The world has opened up. Where man has living two lives. He got his pious life which is too pious. And he got his devil life where we'll say even shaitan closes his eyes and says, I'm not looking now. That balance, this verse was to show. There's nothing wrong when you're asking for full measure. But why when it comes for you to give, suddenly you're playing with the scales. You want everyone to fulfill yours. But when it comes for you fulfilling that one, suddenly you flat. And that will happen in the marriage life also. Where whenever the fight happens, then the husband might say, but she. And then she'll say, I did so much already. Everything, now I ask for one thing only. And again you'll tell them, be just. If this justice can come, which is called play the scale equally. And the opposite If you can change the habit, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam now had someone, he had to give over. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told that Sahabi, Zin, wait for him. And on our scale put extra. Meaning let's change it opposite. That when I'm now giving, I'm giving more. And when I'm taking, now let me take less. Because if this was called total destruction for the man who does this, then what happens if the man turns his life the other way around? That let's say when the time comes to give, you will see those people who sell sometimes meat. And meat is always very expensive. And normally kurbani time is the time when you hear it's even gone more expensive. As though the animal knows that I need the money of the ummah to make it more baraka. So the price just goes up. But you'll see sometimes a butcher man, you ask for two kilos, and he'll always say, I want to give 2.3. I want to make sure, like it's my habit. 
Now that point three is not going to be much in his life. But every time he gives that little extra, he falls into the narration of zin wa arjih. That you measure and add. Then the opposite of the surah comes. There's no destruction for you now. Now there is revolution for you. Your entire building will start coming up. Whoever will take, Allah will take away from him. Whoever will give, Allah will give back to him. The nature of this ummah is, we're living now in a country, in a world, where everyone is a thief. From the highest to the lowest. So because it became so common, for a man not to be a thief has become funny. That you must cheat somewhere. Like everyone is doing it. In such a world you get people like the mother of Sheikh Mahmoud Afandi. And it is those parents who become the mother of the future of the Ummah. That they go the other extreme. That where did this one rain come from? It doesn't belong to us. One rain. You're making an issue of one rain. They say, hey, you sold that thing. That wasn't right. The man will say, please just stay out of my business. The wife will say, I can't eat this food. And they are those women. They enter in a marriage and they say, I don't need so many millions. Because when I'm eating your food, I feel like vomiting. I understand you're pulling from there and you're pulling from there. I understand your inheritance, your father's, grandfather's is not sorted out. That money is coming in our account at the moment. I am feeding my child with it. There are some women, some girls, some boys who write that my father's food we find it difficult to eat because we know the money is not halal at all. So what's the purpose of being that father? You rather tell him resign. Go live in one small hut, they'll eat your food happily. So much. But your own wife and child don't want to eat it. وَيْلٌ لِلْمُطَفِّفِينَ Abu Huraira radiallahu anh heard the verse, it was finished. He said, I have to tell that man, he'll be destroyed. The whole Medina were the worst in business. One surah came down. Medina Munawwara became the best in business. How Quran made revolutions. Allah make our heart open, we also take it. To become so straight, so straight, that that small sense starts worrying me. That did I take somebody else's by mistake? Now when I have to distribute inheritance, now when I'm made in charge of the inheritance must be distributed, I am the most ready to give this one extra. Give that one extra. Pull out from my pocket and add here, add here. And still I'm shaking a little bit. Did I not take anyone's right? Then inheritance doesn't take 20 years. Then no one fights at the table. Everyone is shivering. I don't want to take one grand extra. وَيْلٌ لِلْمُطَفِّفِينَ Beautiful Quran is. Now this surah many of us know. If we don't know the whole surah, at least we know this one verse. وَيْلٌ لِلْمُطَفِّفِينَ this verse changed the entire Medina. May Allah Taala let it. We change our Medina, our small city, our heart. I cannot cheat. Everyone around me can cheat, but I cannot cheat. Allah yazunnu ulaika annahum mabuuthun. Allah says, Do these people not remember? Do these people don't ever make the khial? So they don't ever think that one day they will have to stand لِيَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ On a most frightening day. يَوْمَ يَقُومُ النَّاسِ On the day when the entire mankind will stand لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ In the honor of Almighty Allah. How Quran describes it. Kalla. Kalla has many meanings. We will translate it like, like wake up. Think about it properly. It can't be like this that you're forgetting Qiyamah. And then Allah Tabarakallah now speaks about, you can either desire to be the cheater in this world, but then you must know your results are going to be the results of those who cheated. Or you can be good in this world, although you don't get all those billions and millions, but your results in that world is going to be very high. To explain this very quickly, then we will translate Allah Taala has kept two places where the actions of men, our actions are recorded. It is created in what we call like a book. 
The nature of the book is something we will never understand. Never. Because what is by Almighty Allah is beyond understanding. Our small earth is too small. And in the small earth every day when something new comes out, which we call technology, I say I'm shocked. So if technology can shock us and we say I never thought this is possible, then when it comes to the real world, then what we could never think about we will start seeing. One time Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam walked in front of Sahaba radiallahu anhum. And in his hand he had something. And in the other hand he had something. And the Sahabi radiallahu anhu asked, or Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked, do you know what I have at the moment? Now I want you to think about this. In his hand he had something. That's all. That's the word of the narration. In his hand he had something. But now how big that something will be when you say in his hand he had, unless he was carrying, he had something. So something small. And then he had something. He said, in this one thing that I got in this register is the name of every single person who will be entering into Jannah. It's his name, his father's name, his tribe's name. Meaning what we will call your details, full details. May Allah make it our name is there. He said, yeah. And he said, in the other hand, other hand, I have a register in which is the names of the entire who will be entering into the fire of Jahannam. Their father's names, their tribe's names. At the end of the narration, it went like, Nabi Sam went like this here and it disappeared. So one question was asked, imagine how Sahaba radiallahu they never even like, said, is it possible? How can everyone's name be written in what you're saying is this? Like, whatever it was. Everyone's name. If you have to see in the past how people would write now if you go to Istanbul, there's many museums. One of the nice museums that I like at the moment is where the, the biggest masjid of Istanbul is. The one on top of the hill, I forgot the name. Temlika, whatever they call it. So in that masjid, upstairs, there's an entire museum that started now recently. So that museum, to a great extent, is even much more better for us than the top copy museum. Because in the top copy museum, everyone will come. Muslim, non-Muslim, and they all will move through. And then there will be certain places which are called the, like the respected relics. Those things attributed to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi or the Anbiya Alayhi Wasallam. But you will enter it and very fast you will have to go out and there's many, many people coming through. But here because it's a masjid, now everyone is not going to make their journey to the masjid. And this museum is only for Islamic only for Islamic things of history. They even wrote there some things which perhaps have never been seen. They have now opened those things up. So it's something to see. So in that museum, one thing you will notice is the letters of the people of the past. Letters. So if a king had to write a letter, or the sultan had to write a letter, when you open up that letter, it will be like from the head to the toe. Like you open it up and the whole paper falls down. So I saw always wonder, like such a big paper, Ahmad, what is written in that paper? But now you have a chance to see the writing also because it's opened up. So in that paper, only about four lines are written, that's all. The paper is so huge, but they only got about four lines. They finished. One line, then two lines, three lines. So sometimes so big paper, but so little. And at that time they had another art where some people could write lot in little. So I don't know if you ever have noticed the smallest Qurans of the world. So that will be like so small. In which handwritten is the whole Quran. Now you'll wonder how so small. Whole Quran. But even then, now we're asking a question that the whole humanity, their names, their father's names. Now the small Quran is such that if you want to read it, you can't really read it. Because it's too small now. Now you'll need that machine to make it become bigger. So imagine what was in Nabi Sallallahu hands when he said the whole world. So in today's time, Mufassirin write that how, what was mentioned in that era. And in today's time, how the world changed. That if I ask you, how can it be possible? You say, my USB also got left. I got the names of all the people who are thieves of South Africa. They're all in my one file. All there. Father's names, everything. So when technology can change so fast, 
And they can bring things that we said, I never understood. We are coming to a world one day which is beyond understanding. On that day now, there will be two places where man's books are going to be put. So that book is not like a book where I say, close my book. Or open my book, read my book. No one got time to read. This will be a book which is called a loving you. That you'll see yourself having done, doing, will do. The most apt capturing of a person is you say, I caught you on camera. So one is you wrote the crime. One is you showed the crime. And Almighty Allah will show books. Man will see his action. He himself will feel ashamed at his own action. That book now. The book of the people of evil, Allah Taala has kept its place in what is called the lowest of the lowest earths. So it is known as how we say the seven skies. And then it is known as the seven earths. And again the mind will wonder how you get that. So don't worry about all of that. Because a lot of things we have learned through science. Many of the things as times will go. We learned the scientists were the biggest liars. Biggest liars. If they even go to Mars one day, you must know that the man going is a liar and everyone is taking with him is also liars. So if they tell you this happened at Mars, we had coffee, even then you'll say maybe, maybe not. If they say we went to the moon, we'll say maybe, maybe not. If they say the earth is in this shape, you'll say maybe, maybe not. If they will say we killed one man in Afghanistan, just the other day you'll say maybe, maybe not. Because they lie in everything. Just recently they killed one person. So one person nicely told to me, but that man I know 10 years ago or 5 years ago, they also killed him. So somebody else took out one article where they killed him 4 times already. 4 times killed the same person. The issue is if you shoot someone with a missile and there is no trace of who the person is, how do you know you shot him? Because the most you can say is, I knew he was there and I sent it. But after you sent it, what happened if he went toilet and somebody else came there? How will you know? That thing never picked the man up and took him back and said, it's him. There's nobody there. So whenever it comes in the news, whatever they say, the man who's talking is a liar. When a liar talks, the ear mustn't jump. When a liar talks, you must just say lies. That maybe, maybe not, how can I ever trust? If the man died, it's shahada. If the man never died, we can know these people. They always saying we kill someone. Always they say. So what was we speaking about? When you go to the bottom of the seven earths, there's a certain place. That room is called what we're going to discuss, the jail. Sijin. Sijnun is a jail. Sijin is a jail. What happens in that jail is what a jail is. That until Qiyamah and Jahannam will come, the souls of evil people are put in that jail. They are the, in the bottom of everything's bottom. And what is happening there is, if you want to speak about the worst jail in the world, Allah Tabarakullah in another surah mentions, and no one can punish like how Allah punishes. So if you want to speak about torture and punishment, there is another jail, Sijin. The ones who torture today will be tortured tomorrow. The ones who laugh and mock today will be mocked tomorrow. The ones who are happily pulling innocent people in a jail today will also be dragged into another jail tomorrow. There's a jail. In that jail, in one place, Allah Taala has kept a room. In that room is the storage of the books of the people of evil. Allah save us all. If your name goes there, it means you landing up there. Because where your file goes, when they say the case is wrapped up, and now they say we're sending him over and we're sending the file word. If that file lands up there, man is in a major problem. Then there's another place which is called Illi. How we will say normally five star hotel, then the highest of that five star. Sometimes I don't know what they call it like. Whatever that highest room is, that highest floor. The best penthouse I got. So it's called Illi. Illi means the highest of the highest. Illi. 
So in Lyon are those high rooms. This is called a jail. That is called the palace. In that palace, Allah has kept a room. In that room, the books of the people of good are displayed. يَشْهَدُهُ muqarrabun. And Allah allows those people who are the closest, closest, closest to Allah. Now and then they look at the records in that room. As I told you, there's no reading here. That record could be like they could be seeing you. Allah make it that they see. And the day comes that even after we die and our book is put there. Then people till the day of Qiyamah stands. As they will have a chance to glance at that museum. As soon as you glance at one name, that man's entire beautiful life comes out in front. The best of his actions. How in this world they say, here's your report. And then the man takes it and he sticks it on top. And now every person who comes to meet him, he sees, this is my, you know, I studied so many years. By Almighty Allah, there's the place for the report. And the best of mankind will sometimes see it and the report will come out. And that individual will get so honored like that my report was being read today. And this honor will continue till Qiyamah. Allah make our books reach there. What's the difference between the two? If you're going to cheat, there's always a chance we're going to land up in jail. And if we're going to say, I won't cheat, then we have hope in Allah that we will land up in the high palace. Kalla, Allah Tawarukullah says, remember the books of the evil, that's going to be in the jail. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا سِجِّينَ What will ever explain to you what is the nature of this jail? That ayat itself is sufficient. That you know what is torture. And no one punishes like Allah, this is that jail. In that jail, what will be there? Kitabum marqum. It will be that book that is stamped. Rakam means that there's going to nothing be erased now. It's going to be that book which we say, no deletion. That book is put. Destruction indeed on that date will be to the people who did not want to believe. Alladina yukadzibuna biyawmiddin. Some would say Qiyamah will never take place. Some will say, I know it will take place, but وَمَا يُكَذِّبُ بِهِ No one will do this. Deny Qiyamah. Ignore Qiyamah. إِلَّا كُلُّ مُعْتَدٍ أَثِيمٍ Unless he's a man drowning in evil and sin. Then he says, I don't want to hear about the court case. إِذَا تُتْلَى عَلَيْهِ آيَاتُنَا When he hears our verses, like the surah is being read, he says, أَسَاطِيرُ الْأَوَّلِينَ This is nothing but stories. But no one will say this. Allah's Fadl, we have so much of conviction on Quran. That itself is a scorecard for us. That as soon as we heard the verse, we never said story. This is. As soon as we said, Allah said there's a jail, everyone said, I believe. That itself is a score for all of us. That in that I have hope that Allah, then I'm different. I'm not this man. Because I never said it's a fable. In that already we got hope. Kalla bal. Then Allah Taala says, but hold on. Don't just think that I never said this. That I never ever said Quran is a fable. Don't ever think that. Because what happened to these people? What brought them to the level where they saw the miracle? They saw Nabi Sallallahu splitting the moon. They saw every miracle of his which they asked. They saw the pebble reading the kalima. They saw it all. What brought them to the level that after seeing it all, they still said, I'll never believe. Was it they never knew? So me and you example, today we are sitting and our children are sitting. And every one of us say, I'm not that person. I will never ever say that Quran is a story. Allah tawarud kalla, hold on. Bal, rather what happened? رَانَ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ What evil they used to do, whether it was cheating, whether it was oppressing, the evil that they used to do started gathering. 
And gathering, gathering over a period of time, it created a cover over their hearts. When the cover was created, the individual who was believing yesterday stopped believing. Again, I will repeat this. We don't read Quran to say, but I'm not this person. This is for the non-Muslim. Quran was for me and you. To say that the individual who tomorrow is saying this is nothing but a story. Yesterday he was also reading Quran. But over the days he continued a life of evil. And he never bothered. No one will catch me. No one can stop me. What I eat is mine. What I say is mine. Who I punch is me. I am the boss. As it gathered, gathered. And if someone would say to him, one day you might deny Quran. You say, you think I don't know what my deen is. Kalla, hold on. Balrana, rather. This man from the beginning wasn't denying Quran. And he wasn't denying Qiyamah. Over the days, the evil he was doing, rain. Rain means it created that covering over the heart. It became rusted. It became black. It became dirty. Now today when that individual is told homosexuality is not right. Sometimes there's an inclination in a person towards someone of the same. That inclination is from the arrows of the devil. Shaitan shoots his arrows everywhere. Anywhere and everywhere. The devil is evil. Some people say I get terrible thoughts. So we ask them that where does the thought come from? Say, I don't know. You say, don't you know one of the names of shaitan is waswas? So because we don't know Quran, we say, no, I don't know. You say, that's the surah you're reading every day. Min sharril waswas. From the evil of the one who blows. So I said, he's the one blowing. When he blows, what type of thought you think the devil is going to blow? The devil will never blow clean thoughts. So when the devil shoots the arrow and your inclination goes to someone, the devil is not going to shoot it in a clean place. He will shoot the arrow towards dirt. You will fall in love with an actress. You will fall in love with Hollywood and Bollywood. You know that that woman is on drugs. You know she's smoking. You know her life is every day dirt and filth. But the devil shot the arrow. Now that you're in love with her, now you don't go around telling everyone, I wish, I wish. There was one woman who was famous in the magazines. So when she passed away, it wasn't clear whether she just read Kalima and she passed away. Or she died without Iman. Until today, no one knows. May Allah make it that all die with Iman. But she passed away. She was in the heart of so many people. Because people would see her, look at her. So at that time I remember one uncle, he came to one ustad of ours. And he said, Moana, I heard she read Kalima before she passed away. He was like, so? So Moana said, I don't know about it. Like if she read Kalima, so. He said, I wish she read Kalima. I want to see her there in Jannah. So much like, she was in his heart. That auntie, you want to get her in Jannah. Like, as though there is nothing which Allah has. So much. When this heart starts getting, then the inclination shaitan shoots. So if you fell in love with an actress, you don't go around and telling everyone, hey, I like her. Hey, you know, I think about her. Hey, when she talks, my mind goes, you don't. What you do, you feel bad of the thought. Because the thought is not me. It is the devil. Can I take out the thought? No. So Allah will never take me to task for the thought. Because that's the devil. He's going to the fire. My exam will be my tongue. Will my tongue say what my heart is feeling? Or will my tongue say, no, I don't? If my tongue says to Allah, I'm not happy with this thought, then I'm okay. I don't have that vacuum to remove the faulty thought. But I will profess with my tongue, this is wrong, finished. I will never try to make an excuse for it. I will never try to cover up for it. I will never say, I think I was born with this thing. I think grace must be given to me. And then if someone says, you know, in Quran, Allah has said, creator of mankind, that if you fall in love, if you have inclinations for the person of the same, 
You are not allowed to fulfill your desires. At that moment, either the individual says, I believe in what my Allah said. And this evil within me, I'll live with it. And I'll die with it. I'll fight it till the ending. Man ashika, he fell in love, deep in love, gripped. But where he fell in love, in a place where he was not allowed. Thumma katama, then he concealed it. A believer will not go for marches on the road and say, my rights, my rights. That's not a believer. Thumma mata, then he died. He died with the love of, he was a boy, maybe another boy. He died with the love of that boy. But he hated that feeling. Mata shahidan. He has died the death of a martyr. He has died the death of a martyr. It will not be seen that what you had there, that feeling, because the feeling was from the devil. It will be seen how you fought that feeling till the ending. Your battlefield took place every day. You said, I believe in what my Allah said. My inside wants something else. But I will live on what my Allah said and I will tell my inside, you just keep quiet and wait for the better world coming. But when man allowed himself to do evil, 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 a time comes where the heart gets covered. And a time comes where on his tongue he says, this is nothing but a story. This is nothing but the stories of the people of the past. Who said it? Allah says, Rana. Ma kanu yaksibun. What they used to do has finally covered their heart. Allah save us all. Every day we end the day with Tawbah. Every day clean that heart again. Because when it gathers and it gathers, a time comes where to remove rust when it has become thick is not easy at all. When it is small, you just wipe it out, dust it off. Every day, dust it off. We will never cover up in this manner that my wrong is not wrong. Every night I'll say, Allah, I got lot wrong. Lot wrong. My car has to get dusty. Even if it's the best of the range. It is not a disgrace for me to take my car to the car wash. Rather, it's my honor that at least it can get cleaned again. Soon as I clean it, dust settles tomorrow. I don't cover it up. That the dust is under the carpet, so throw another carpet on top. I say there's dust, let me remove the dust. I am not shy to pay for the car wash. By Allah, I cannot be shy to say sorry. Continue washing the heart. And this final of what is called the heart gets covered will never happen. We got a mission to get our names there on the top. That mission we have to work for. But it started all with don't cheat. Don't cheat in small things. Then your journey to the big things will start. Cheat in small things and the fall towards major problems will start. So this was the book of the evil. Allah save us all. Then Allah says, as for the people of good, Kalla inna kitab al-abrar. Then is the book of the people of righteousness. Abrar. This word itself sounds pious. But the surah will take us to another level. Abrar itself is what a level you look at the ayat. I wish I'll reach there. And then Allah says, and above Abrar there is something called Muqarrab. Muqarrab means the ones who are the closest to Almighty Allah. Allah make us reach there also. But in describing Abrar, Allah says, the book of the righteous that will be kept in that high palace, Lafi illiyin. Wama adara kama illiyun. What could ever explain to you what that palace will be? And what will be in that palace, Kitabum Markum? The sealed book will also be there. Reports will also be there. Yashhaduhul Mukarrabun. Where the Mukarrabs, they will sometimes pass, those very close to Allah. They will sometimes pass and they will look at the records and they'll say, well done. Well done. If the Nabi of the time says, well done. If Musa salam says, well done. If Rasulullah says, well done. That man's qiyamah is made. His cover is made. That report to get there. Where Allah selected, selected, selected will walk past, will see it. Loving. They'll say, you did very well. 
in the world of the Qabr, when the Arwah will get together, and when one master of the time, one of Allah's Muqarrabs will meet you, Allah make it happen with all of us. And he will say, I saw your records, amazing. What a job you did. How that individual in his Qabr will shine like. He say, you saw like what you saw. He say, I saw your report. Your marks were very good. يَشْهَدُهُ muqarrabun. إِنَّ الْأَبْرَارِ Ulama have written, for the people of piety, Allah has kept these five. One is your report is going to be read, read, read. Your report is going to be seen by the best of Allah's creation. And then they will get the chance to praise you in front of so many. That itself is an honor. The man just blows up. You saw, you really saw it. Like, what was written there? Number one. Number two, Lafi Naim. Allah says, I guarantee he will find himself in such pleasures that you can never imagine. The swirl little but that lose a few kilos, grams, a little weight, a little sense. And every time when you're losing that because you're adding extra on your scale, you're putting meat, put a few extra. You're giving something, give a little extra. Don't ever cheat. You are distributing inheritance, distribute a little extra. Give more. And if someone says, why are you giving this? You say, with a small extra amount, you know, this point three. This is the money I'm using to buy my palace there. This is the money. Then it says, it's a very cheap. You're only paying point three, like. This is the money. It is small actions, good actions, which make a man climb very high. If a man goes mountain climbing, he understands the ring is very small. But that ring prevents him from falling. That ring is hit into the mountain. It doesn't break. He puts on his club to the ring. If he slips also, he's held. Those small rings are these small actions. Mufti Muhammad Shafi Sahib wrote one kitab, Easy Good Actions. He said, these are such simple actions which you'll think there's nothing in it. But in the virtue of these actions, indication was made you will die with Iman. Easy Good Actions. He said, you finish eating food and you just thank Allah. So what hard thing was that? That was a small ring. This is also a small ring. Give a little bit extra. Give in a little extra. And your rings will be put up on that mountain. It will prevent the fall. That books will be there in that high palaces. Number one. Number two, they will be in the best of pleasures. Number three, al araiki yanzurun. They will be placed on the most unique of cushions. Yanzurun, and now they will be the bosses. A boss is a man who sits. He relaxes. Now he starts looking around. As he looks around, his entire world is in front of him. Mufassirin wrote that we don't understand what he'll be looking at. Quran left that day not mentioned. Sometimes he will be looking at the palaces Allah kept for him. And his eye will go into every palace. Sometimes he will be looking at the woman Allah has kept for him. Sometimes the foods, sometimes the gardens. Sometimes Allah will allow him to look right into Jahannam also. As he will sit here, just sitting, he hasn't yet gone in the palace. He hasn't gone to any of the woman created. He hasn't gone to the, any of the food. Sometimes you just sit. And just looking itself is your Jannah. But that's also mine. That's also mine. That's also mine. Third gift. Gift number one, the report, where it will be. Number two, in the best of pleasures. Number three, on the best of cushions looking around. Number four, ta'rifu fi wujuhihim. On their faces you will see the signs of enjoyment. Nadratan na'im. The freshness of I'm living life. In this world, a man got billions. But when you look at his face, he only gets older by the day. He got billions, but you just see worry in his eye. You see this falling. He can go far, how many times to the clinic to do the face lift. But the thing is giving up. You ask him, what's happening? He said, if you got hundred people working under you, you'll also be dying. It's not easy to be a boss. In this world, money hasn't given anyone that freshness of life. Allah says, forget the man, you'll see it in his face. When you will be able to see how fresh he is, imagine what he'll be going through. 
Number five, يُسْقَوْنَ مِنْ رَحِيقٍ مَخْتُومٍ And he will be given to drink from a unique drink. Rahiq means class. A drink which will be class. It will be the liquor of paradise. When the liquor is being brought in this country, then they put it in the barrel. On the barrel, the barrel is sealed to say that no one during the journey opened it up and spat inside. Or it wasn't contaminated. No germs went inside it, sealed. But the most that that seal can be with is wood. And wood also got dust. So that liquor that's there, even the seal, when you will open it one day, just opening a little bit, dust will fall in. Allah Tawarukullah says, your drink will come to you also sealed, makhtoom, the seal will be there. Khitamuhu misk. But the seal of your drink itself will be musk. So when you will open it, musk itself will fall into the drink. There will be no dust in that world. Even the seal will be unique. What a drink it will be, how Allah described it, وَفِي ذَلِكَ فَلْيَتَنَافَسِ الْمُتَنَافِسُونَ That if you really want to compete, you rather compete for the drink. That is like the best description of the drink. And I can't explain to you what it is, but I'm telling you, if you want to race, that is something to race for. وَفِي ذَلِكَ فَلْيَتَنَافَسِ الْمُتَنَافِسُونَ وَمِزَاجُهُ مِن تَسْنِيمٍ and then on that drink, something will be added. Normally when the woman makes something, then finally they just throw a little of something on top. That little of something on top gives another flavor to it. Allah says the drink will be unique. The seal will be musk. When it's open, the musk will fall. And then they'll say, just hold on before you drink. I just have to add a little of that extra. What is that extra? Tasneem. What is this tasneem? Allah says, this tasneem is a spring. Aynan yashrabu bihal muqarrabun. From which the selected of Almighty Allah will be drinking. And this is where I want you to think. How Allah brought us to Abrar. What a level, I wish I can be there. And then Allah said, you know your report, they're going to be seeing it. Muqarrab. So you're wondering who they are. Now it comes to when you will get the best of drinks, best of drinks, unique drinks, race for this drink. And that drink when you open it, musk. And hold on, I'm going to bring something and I'm going to just throw it on top of this drink. And when the man of Jannah drinks, he'll say, what's this extra? And then it is told, this extra is actually the water which is drunk every day by the people above. How then man will wish, I wish I can also be from the Muqarrab. Allah's most, most selected. Just from the water, when I will get a small amount, it will be amazing. This is the water. In that world, there's no limits. And in that world, there's happiness for everyone. But Nabi Wasallam said, when you're aiming, aim for the highest. That I don't want the best drink with the little extra. That little extra, I want it to be mine. Like in this world, one person got wealth. One person got less. The one who got less, if that ring can have a diamond, he walks around everywhere. See, see my diamond. The woman is showing the people my small diamond. And another person is a diamond dealer. So this person, I got a diamond, I got a diamond, so happy. And the other person says, let me show you my diamonds. And from my many diamonds, you got one. There will be one group which will have the spring. The most unique of springs. From that spring, if the angel takes a small amount and he puts it in the other drink, the people will go wild. Allah grant us that we can get to that level of muqarrab also. And nothing is far from the karam, kindness of Allah. But it is things to aim for. In this world, it's too short just to cheat, to argue, to fight, to pull in a few rands. There's mountains to be climbed. There's mountains to be climbed. We need to get very high. Our reports have to be shown. There's waters to be drunk. There's enjoyments to be made. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ أَجْرَمُوا As for this world, Allah says, you really want to fight? This is not the world of justice. In this world, those that are criminals, كَانُوا مِنَ الَّذِينَ يَضْحَكُونَ in this world, they are given the chance to laugh at the believers. It's their world. 
This is the world where the criminal laughs at the good person. وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِهِمْ يَتَغَامَزُونَ And when the criminal passes by the person of Iman, he looks down at him and he criticizes him. It's their world. Propaganda is theirs. The news is theirs. Everything is theirs. وَإِذَا انْقَلَبُوا إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِمْ And after mocking and laughing, then they go home. When they go home, in قَلَبُوا فَكِهِينَ Then they reached home and they drowning in luxury. Their doors open up for them. Then the cushion is brought. Then the liquor is brought. Then that one worker comes to them. Then he says, I need to put my legs to soak. Then he says, show me this here. He says, is the helicopter ready? In the weekend we're flying here. They are relaxing. But who they are? Allah says, they're criminals. But if a criminal can be enjoying this world, it means because this is not the best world. Because no one gives the best to the criminal. So this is their world. وَإِذَا رَأَوْهُمْ When the criminal sees the believer, he says, إِنَّ هَاؤُلَاءِ لَضَالُونَ That these believers, they don't know what they're up to. These believers are lost. See the news. A woman wants to cover her body. They say she's oppressed. A woman wants to walk naked in the world. They say she's gone very far. A woman wants to serve her husband at home. They say she's backwards. A woman has to wake up early. Wake up early. She has to fill her face with makeup just so she can make coffee for somebody else in his workplace. And they say you have progressed very far. Where the diamond was made into a stone. This is this world. Where the criminal speaks like to the judge. The judge is saying, how could you do this? The opposite of this world is where the criminal says. These things happen in our country. Where the criminal, he speaks louder than the judge also. He says, you should go to jail. Tell the judge. Just say, I wonder what you're doing. Like, I'm either the judge or you. This world is an upside down world. Where the criminal says to the believer, these people are lost. We're going to see that. When we see it, we don't get hurt. We say, that's how Allah said it's going to happen. وَمَا أُرْسِلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ حَافِظِينَ But remember, the criminal has not been given the chance to judge and to look after the believers. All he can do is talk. He's not the judge. As for the judge, فَالْيَوْمَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ يَبْحَكُونَ Today, or on that day, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا The people of Iman, they'll also be laughing. They'll also be laughing. And there will be times when they will be looking alal araiki yanzurun. They will be sitting on their cushions and looking. And sometimes when they will see what's happening in Jahannam, or sometimes when they will see their pleasures, then they'll just laugh and they'll say, the world was so short, like, how people died for it, like, what they fought for. And then they will be so happy, Allah just saved me for this. Hal thuwiba al kuffaru ma kanu yafalun. Those people who will be on the other side in difficult conditions. Allah says they will not be receiving except what they did. But when you will see it, everyone will say, I am just so lucky I am not there. This is a surah which has taken us to the heights and it has shown us the depths. You want to fall, there's no limits of falling. You want to climb, there's no limits of climbing. Allah make us, we climb to the highest. It's a very unique world, but it all started with وَيْلٌ لِلْمُطَفِّفِينَ Don't cheat. Such a small thing. Don't cheat. And the climb will start and there's no limits to where we can go. May Allah Tabarakullah bless us all with pure hearts. Let our income be the purest of income. Let our character be the most just of character. How we want our wife to behave with us, we behave the same with her. How we don't want her to ever say one thing on my father and my mother, I don't ever say one thing on her father and her mother. How I tell her, don't you dare bring my brother into the issue, it's my brother. At the same time, I don't dare bring her sister into the issue, it's her sister. A man who's just, then his climb is going to start. As for the man who feels, I can do what I want, then that verse is very scary. Bal rana. That kufar was not there, it started with actions. Actions gathered, gathered, gathered. And one day it led to the time where the man finally said, this Quran is nothing but a story. Allah tabarak ta'ala save us all. Allah make us all from the people of Jannatul Firdaus. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.